Kia ora and welcome to the third episode of The Ball Boys. I have the official Ball Boys for The Ball Store, which you can find at www.theballstore.co.nz. It's the online platform where you can buy any ball. And these guys know all about it. They've been taking part in the Ball Boys Challenge, whereby we do a bit of a quiz, we have a physical challenge afterwards, and after two rounds, Blair has won the football challenge, Glenn has won the basketball challenge, so we're tied up at one all, and we need a bit of a tiebreaker. So we'll get into it, eh? This is going to be, once again, a blindfold to start the challenge. Get those on you, please don't fall asleep, and I'll hand you a ball which you need to guess what it is. Okay, gentlemen, I am ready. You can't, you can't see, can you? Of course not. <laughs> cool. One, two, three. Rugby ball. Rugby ball. It is a rugby ball. And Glenn, you go one point up. So that means the rest of the quiz challenge is going to be on the sport of rugby. Who knows a bit about rugby in this room? Yes, you're probably ahead of us both on that uh, area, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> so, Glenn, you won the first one. Here we go. First question that isn't about guessing what sort of ball it is. What were the balls made of initially? Pigs leather. Yeah, I guess that's an in interesting one because, yes, leather casing, pig's bladder inside. I think, oh gosh, what do we do here? Half point X. That could be interesting going forward. Tell me, gentlemen, at what school in England did rugby Eaton. originate? Eton. Rugby. So it was at? Eton Rugby. Eton. Rugby. Rugby, rugby school. school. <laughs> it's rugby correct. School. Yeah, rugby school wow. in Warwickshire. I think it was back in uh, 1823. Yes, that's what Mr. Google told me. <laughs> rugby school. <laughs> so, Blair, you get that question well, right. Um, <laughs> Tell me, gents, how many players in a rugby team? 15. Yeah, it was, it's definitely 15. Everyone knows that. Or is it 24 now? Blair, I think you got in just, just that little bit quicker. So I'm going to put you down for that one. Uh, tell, can you tell me in which years have the All Blacks won the Rugby World Cup? 87, 2011, 2017. 2015, 2011. I'm sorry, dude, because you got the last one wrong, the question goes to this one here. So, Glenn, congratulations. Four, four, four years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, four more years. Four more years. I was at the opening game of the 87 World Cup versus Italy. Was. JK scored that mm -hmm. incredible try yeah, down the yeah, sidelines. Yeah, I was there too. I didn't yeah. know you then. Yeah, no, we didn't know each other yeah. then, yeah. I was only 21, a fledgling young sports journalist. Uh, had a lot of fun on that tour. Okay, question number six. Who is the most capped rugby player of all time? Richie McCaw. Richie. Yeah, it is Richie McCaw. 148 tests. Uh, Alan Wynne Jones from Wales has got 147. He would have uh, joined Richie and potentially even passed him if the Six Nations hadn't been um, postponed because of COVID. So COVID's helping us retain that record, New Zealand. Good on them. <laughs> so Glenn, that was you again. Right, question number seven. Which two countries played the first international rugby game? Scotland, England. Scotland and England is correct. That was pretty emphatic. You knew. What is the nickname of the Thames Valley rugby team? Swamp Foxes. Swamp Foxes, what is a Swamp Fox? <laughs> Swamp rats. Yeah, no, it's definitely swamp foxes, oh. but I just don't know what they are. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, Blair, that's Good another point. one for you. Right. Okay, question number nine. Rugby Sevens made its Olympic debut in 2016 in Rio. Can you please tell me who won both the men's and the women's gold medals? Which country? New Zealand Sevens. Australia. Black Sevens. Australia and England. No, close. Australia won the women's, who won the men's? Gold. Oh. It's great sevens history. Fiji. Fiji is correct, so you get the question. Correct. 
Fiji and Australia. Question number 10. What was Canterbury's home stadium for rugby before the Christchurch earthquake? Lancaster Park. Just, just nailed it. Well done. Lancaster Park is correct. Really fast here, just <laughs> 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 Love it. So we'll go and take it into the field with some goal kicking, like drop kick competition. And whoever gets the three points from there is obviously going to win this challenge. So we're going to head to the park. We'll let these boys get their shorts on. Well, we'll let Blair get his shorts on. And uh, we'll see how they go with an oval ball. Let's do it. <laughs> a bit hot. So we're back from the rugby challenge where uh, you kicked beautifully on at least one occasion uh, to win the drop kick challenge. So you are the biggest drop kick winner in this room. So congratulations. There you go. Well done Teagle. Slice after slice after slice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's getting quite exciting now. We've got uh, two wins here with uh, football and rugby and a win here with basketball. So we're at a really interesting stage of the Bull Boys Challenge. Don't forget to go to the website at theballstore.co.nz and look for unbeatable deals. And while you're there, make sure you put in the promo code Bull Boys to get your 5% discount off your full purchase. Brilliant. So that is it for the third episode of the Bull Boys. It was the Rugby Challenge, which Blair won. Don't forget, get to theballstore.co.nz for unbeatable deals. We're going to be back with another challenge very soon.